For 11B, we have a picture that's been drawn of a, a barge that's here. It's being pulled by two tugboats at this point and this point. We're given that they're 120 feet across, and these are the lengths of the solid lines. And so we want to figure out what the angle between the two barges is. Now that's going to be this angle right here. They want to know the angle between the two cables that's connected to the barge, and that would be this here, because the cables are only represented by the solid lines. The dotted line would be how far apart they are. So we have to, uh, we're going to use, because we have three, a three-sided triangle here, we're going to use law of cosines again to, in order to find that angle. Now before we do law of cosines, we need to label the drawing. I'm just going to put a, a B here, B for barge, and then the A and C, you know, it doesn't matter where we put those. So I'm going to label the triangle this way. Now the way this is labeled again, as I, I said before in the previous problem, uh, the, the version of the law of cosines formula you're going to use depends on how you have your triangle labeled. Because I want to solve for this angle B right here, that means that I want to use this version of the law of cosines. I need B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine B. So I'm using this version in particular based on the way I have the triangle labeled. Um, I'm solving for capital letter B. So this time I'm going to put in all the side, all the information. So first with B squared, the B is opposite angle B, so that would be 120 uh, squared. And I have A, A is 230 squared, and C is going to be 212 squared, and I'll have minus 2 times 230, and then 212. We don't know what angle B is this time. So we'll leave that one alone. We want to solve for cosine B, and when we're done, we're going to take the inverse cosine. Uh, so we'll kind of go through step by step here. Now what'll happen, what I'm going to show here is I'm going to kind of do a couple things at once. First, I'm going to multiply this together. So I'll get minus, if I multiply 2 times 230 times 212, that's going to be negative 97520 cosine b. So that would be this, this section here. Now if I take 120 squared and subtract 230 squared and subtract 212 squared from it, I'll get a number on the left hand side. So you can put that into your calculator. I'm not going to show all the intermediate steps for that. But if you did it correctly, then you should get this. 120 squared minus 230 squared minus 212 squared, you'll get this number right there. We want to solve for cosine b, so we're going to divide both sides by 97,520, do this one. And by doing that, that's going to give us our answer for cosine b. So we're going to put that into the calculator, and that you're going to get 0.85566 with some more decimals. That's going to equal cosine b. Remember that your answer, you have to take the inverse cosine of both sides. So your answer for B is going to be the inverse cosine of that decimal 0.85, eight, should I get the decimal right? 85566 with some more decimals. Now I want to take the inverse of that. Now inverse cosine, you don't need to worry about having two answers for it. That only applies if you have inverse sine when you're working with triangles. If you have inverse cosine, you don't have to worry about that. Whatever answer you get here, automatically that will be our correct answer for B. So if I put that into the calculator, inverse cosine of, of that, we're going to get 31.17 degrees. So don't forget to do the inverse cosine at the end. And so that would be the angle that separates the two cables there where it's connected to the barge should be 31.17.